state of survival is a zombie game that combines traditional RTS elements with RPG aspects to create a game like no other. Here you got to survive in a post-apocalyptic wasteland where the undead are roaming, while also developing your settlement and recruiting more survivors into your ranks. State of Survival plays a lot like a war game, with your settlement generating resources over time, which you can use to create buildings or upgrading existing structures. However, it branches out from this gen by also featuring unique explorer trait missions that play in a more traditional RPG format, but you can deploy your characters on missions to explore the surroundings, to secure supplies and work towards finding a cure for the zombie plague. And all of these elements make State of Survival a unique experience that you won't want to miss if you are a fan of RPGs and zombie games. And this is especially true if you are using Bluestacks. But before I can talk about all the advantages of using Bluestacks, let's first take a look on how to actually download and install the game. To download and install State of Survival, firstly, head out to the Bluestacks official website and download and install Bluestacks 5. Once the installation is finished, open the Play Store and then search for State of Survival here on the search bar. Now click on Install State of Survival from the search results and install it, just like you would on your regular phone. Once the installation is finished, the icon will appear here on the home screen. Just click on it and start playing. But now that we got this out of the way, let's take a look on all of the benefits of playing with Bluestacks. Games like State Survival rely heavy on menu navigation to issue commands such as constructing buildings, training troops, or even simply checking your city info. And with that being said, you frequently need to click back and forth around your screen just to get access to all of the relevant info of the game. So, instead of having to click all over the screen, you can use Bluestacks Key Mapping Tool to issue all the commands you want using your keyboard and mouse. This feature basically allows you to set customized shortcuts to any part of the screen, which you can then link to any button on your mouse or keyboard. And every time you press a specific key, Bluestacks will automatically simulate a tap on the corresponding area of the screen simplifying quite a lot the whole process of navigating throughout all the menus. And the best part is that Bluestacks already comes with a basic control scheme for state of survival, so you don't even need to set up anything. This configuration includes missions, heroes, alliance, world map, backpack and mail screens, among many others. There's even shortcuts for quick access to your skills during battle. But just in case there's something you don't like or you want to make some adjustments or even you want to add new keyboard shortcuts, well, you can pretty much customize everything to your liking. So to do so, just click on this keyboard icon and then proceed to open advanced preferences. In this screen, you can use the list on the right to drag any relevant shortcuts to your desired location or even change the ones already set on the screen. For a slow-paced conquest game like this one, you can use the Multi Instance Manager to build and develop many different cities at the same time with different accounts. The slow and strategic design of the game means that you will never have to complete any action segment other than a single player missions that you can take your time and issue commands in multiple cities without losing a bit. Using this instance manager only requires you to click this little icon here on the right panel to access this menu. And here you can create as many instances as you like and then run off them at the same time. And being able to develop 2, 3, 4 or even more cities all at the same time is something that you only find with Bluestacks. State of Survivor is an awesome blend of RTS and RPG elements, set against the backdrop of a zombie game. And thanks to a powerful Ender Emulator, you can become one of the most powerful survivors in the zombie wasteland and take your settlements to a whole new level. So if you want to try this out and improve your gaming experience by quite a lot, make sure to play on Bluestacks. But anyway, that's it for now, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!